Today we just got the drip marketing for the 3.2 characters and a lot more information on 3.1. Starting off with, of course, Nahida. We all saw that one coming. Lesser Lord Kusanali. She is the physic of purity. Lesser Lord Kusanali dwelt deep in the sanctuary of Suristana. She had never really been in limelight, nor had she been mentioned much. Very, very true, what we know so far. But I assume she'll be absolutely cracked, as Archons are. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, Venti is the weakest among the seven, lore-wise, but gameplay-wise, he's still pretty respectable. But I just think, you know, you're pretty much guaranteed, like, a really, really good character when it's the Archon. So, absolute must-pull for me. I mean, I don't even care what she does. Like, you know, the Archons, I gotta try and get. At least I gotta try and get. Then we have Layla, who is completely new. However, I did see her in one of the uh, character voice lines. I think Tainari or Kali, one of them. They do mention Layla, so we didn't know about Layla, but we just didn't know how she looked. And here she is. She looks great. You know, kind of has like jean style pants. Looks kind of on the tired side, if anything. Uh, I assume she's cryo, half awake, half asleep, and all incredulous. So she definitely kind of looks like she's very chill, if anything. Uh, fantastical evening star. She is, this is one of the six Darshans. Uh, I have no idea how to access to that name. I think it's Awahist, I think. I don't know if the R is silent, but it's funny because she's actually part of the academia, but she's not dressed like she is. She's in a whole different outfit. So that's that's pretty cool. It says Layla specializes in theoretical astrology. So, okay. Well, this is theoretical. So I was gonna say like Mona, but maybe it's a bit different. And draw stars charts tirelessly in order to write her thesis. Interesting. So this will, once again, this will be in 3.2. This is just like the, the kind of sneak peek. So Layla is cryo indeed. She's definitely cryo. And of course, you guessed it, Nahida is Dendro. Uh, I actually missed it. There it is, Dendro. And last but not least, of course, we have all of the 3.1 events and the patch notes and things like that. So just a quick rundown of all this. We're getting the two Argon Quest parts, King Desert and the Three Magi, which is gonna be so hype with freaking Scar Moose to Tore and who knows what's going to happen in that one. Um, you know, we get some log in reward or no, sorry, this is mail. We get, we get mailed. So after the update happens, we'll get a bunch of primos. We'll get a cloud retainers, the mass device. That's cool. Uh, we'll get it around. I think it's four fragile resin in total and a little like party toy thing, I guess. So unfortunately the login event that we're going to get for like the anniversary, it actually doesn't start until the 14th of October. So you got to wait like two weeks first and then you got to start logging in at after that point. So be sure to do that when that happens, though, because it's going to be kind of weird because it doesn't start on the first day of the patch. It starts on the 14th. So, you know, you want to actually make sure you have a seven day window to actually get all the rewards. So like, if you do it too late, you'll actually miss two or three days worth of reward. Of course, there is Sino. The banner is Kuki Shinobu, Sayu and the brand new Candace. And we have Venti on the rerun. Now, hear me out. So far, it seems like they are literally releasing every single Archon one after another. They just released Zhongli in 3.0, Venti 3.1, Usanali 3.2, and then I guess Raiden Shoga would be 3.3. So, I mean, like at this point, if they don't do that, that'd be sinister. But anyways, great, yeah, you know, a pretty decent banner. If you didn't get Kuki last time, it was a good time to get her now. Um, iOS is really trying to like push the Dendro sort of like play style out there. So Kuki is definitely a good asset for that. Um, Candace will have to wait and see. And then Sayu is your, I guess, VV swirl uh, along with Venti as well. So now the weapon banner is actually pretty nice. The weapon banner, it's like if you get the Elegy, that's great. If you get Scarlet Sands, that's great, you know? And then I guess, I guess if you lose your like 75, 25 or whatever it is, um then that kind of sucks but the four stars they have a claymore who can is actually pretty good but we just don't have anybody that can use it right now uh we have sacrificial fragment which is always great phonius sword or sorry phonius lance which is good lion's war is okay and phonius war bow so honestly great banner like you really can't lose that hard on this one like unless you get like sacred wind or sacred wind of lost prayer or whatever it is you know or like a skyward atlas or something but honestly really freaking good like you can't really go wrong on this banner lgs are going to be so good for dendro reactions free em little mods that sales event with a free pull arm as a gift uh we're bringing back this event as well this is like the the duo character event we have to keep on switching off 
Uh, and yeah, I think this will give us like a thousand primos. This is like another 420. We get Kali for free if we finish the 4-3 Abyss level. So if you missed her in the Graven Innocence event, which took place in the beginning of Sumeru patch 3.0, um you can actually still get kali and if you already did i assume they'll still let you get her even afterwards so essentially you could get a c1 copy of kali if you haven't already so and of course if you're a c6 already for kali i guess you'll just get some star glitter maybe and we also get story quests for sino we get a story quest for i believe nilu in the next one as well and for anybody who spins in Genshin, you have your initial top of bone. The best part to end it off with is we have the battle pass returning again, man. There is nothing more satisfying than getting the rewards on the battle pass, you know? Like the, the, the paid battle pass, like about 2 million Mora or more so, a free weapon. That pretty much does it for 3.1. Let me know in the comments what you guys are gonna be wishing for or if anything that is. Uh, for me personally, I think I might just skip the whole patch maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I definitely want to make sure I get Kusanali right now, or I'm sorry, in 3.2. Um, and I think Nilu will be a great candidate to use with Kusanali as well. So put them together and you'll have a freaking bomb team. Um, probably same with Sino, I'd imagine, for Aggravate, but I don't know, man. I know 3.2 is just a lot is coming out in 3.2. Um, I assume we'll probably get a Hu Tao rerun as well, because she, she's, she's very due at this point. And they can't really wait too long. So waiting on Kusanali, I think Tartaglia might pop up as well. You know, I want Shen He, so I'm kind of playing catch up, trying to get all the old characters first. So I gotta just save all my stuff for them. But that'll be all. I'll be trying to maybe try and get Candice like one ten pull or so. But besides that, that'll be all for me. I wish you guys the best of luck on your pulls, whether it's for Venti, Elegy, Scarlet Sand, Sino, Candice. So you're gonna need it. I know how it is. That'll do it for me. I will catch you guys in the next one.